me i'm back again hope you're not sick of me i'm not sick of you anyway guys i've just got back from tour so i'm very very excited to share what i've been up to so guys i've just got back off tour as i said with Marty Pello, it was fantastic. We did a tour of Scotland and Ireland. I actually went to a few cities that are, or towns, don't know what you classify them as, um, that I've never been to before. And I've realized that the UK is very beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. So we drove a lot of the venues um, from hotel to hotel and saw parts of the UK that I would never even dream existed. We played in a place called Hamilton. We played in Limerick. We played in Danoon. Some of these places I've never even heard of. The shows went really well. But yeah, Marty's lovely. He's got such a lovely vibe and I love working with those guys. So it's really great to see them again. The last time we were together was earlier in the year when we did a longer tour. So this one was pretty short. And we had a few personnel changes. The sound was fantastic. I had never heard my in-ears sound so good. So it was kind of like, you know, continuing from where we left off with a few extra people a few new people and a few changes with the infrastructure but the tour itself was fantastic i've got some footage for you i hope you enjoy it have a look so this is night one of the tour i'm on the tour bus and we're riding up to scotland and basically it's not it's a hotel tour but we are driving from all the way to scotland so we've got a tour bus this is where the crew sleep and i'll show you it in a minute but i'm just going to show you the tiny little toilet that is on this bus Look, that is where the toilet will be for eight hours. And I'm going to give you a piece of advice. This is for all you people who plan on touring. Never, and I repeat, never poo on a tour bus. I just saved you the most embarrassment of life. You never, never poo on a tour bus. Only pee. Thank me later. You can have that one for free. So it's day two of the tour. Sorry about yesterday. It was a little bit crazy. Um, we slept on the tour bus yesterday and that was good because the journey to Scotland was over eight hours and so what they did is they put us in bunks so that we could sleep on the journey, arrive at the venue in the morning and then uh, check into the hotels in the afternoon. So basically we're in a place called Dunoon, it's a very small um, place in Scotland and um we're right by the lock i can't i wish i could show you but this window is a little bit misty but there's a lock right out front i don't know if you can see it is a really beautiful place and where we are is literally about 10 minutes from the venue not even that um and it's been really really cool being here because it's very picturesque and actually um a lot of the people that here came last night are probably from Glasgow because you have to get the ferry well you don't have to um, there's a ferry that leaves from this area to go to Glasgow because if you don't do that you have to drive two and a half hours all the way round because around the lock but it's a really beautiful venue but where we are is a bit of a ghost town not a ghost town it used to be a military base um, a long time ago and basically when the military base left here I think a lot of the commerce and the area just went, like, left and the area went downhill. So there's not much here, but we um, had the option of staying in Glasgow, but then having a really long drive to get to the venue, or staying in the local area in a very kind of, I want to say, local hotel, and that's me trying to be diplomatic. So basically, I'm in a B&B. &B. It's like your granny's house, basically. But, oh my God, last night I slept so well i haven't slept well in a very long time put it that way and i was ecstatic to wake up this morning feeling great um went down to breakfast and it was literally a scottish granny <laughs> and granddad cooking breakfast it was delightful i tasted potato cakes for the first time i'm not sure what i think about it i'll let you know i'll come back to you on that one but it was great to have the scottish experience tomorrow i'm gonna have scottish oats which is a thing um but more about the music. Last night's show was really cool. Marty did a great job. Um, we've got... People have kind of shifted roles this time around. So Chris Trimby, who, who was the tour manager and sound engineer, is now just tour managing. And we have a new 
He's not new. He covered a few gigs on the last run when Chris was away. Um, but we have a new guy called Steph who is phenomenal at sound. He's, my in-ear mix has never sounded better. Um, and I know this may not mean anything to some of you, but just it's like hearing music in a completely 3D way. It's, it's hard to explain, but all I, all I can say to you is that I enjoyed the music on stage and I enjoyed what I could hear. Um, the crowd were crazy. Um, the women were screaming as per usual. And also, um, I think I saw a woman trying to seduce security guard. She was dancing all over him and I think he was a little bit embarrassed and laughing at the same time, which was quite funny. I mean, the things you see on stage is actually hilarious. But yeah, it was a good night. Uh, me and Simone, um, you know, as, as we're a little duo now, we've got a little bit of a page uh, that we are using when we're together because me and Simone work a lot together and I do enjoy working with her. So yeah, we've got a thing. Anyway, we're about to leave the B&B. &B. In fact, let me show you, it's horrendous. I've basically tried to rearrange my stuff. So everything is everywhere, sorry. This is the B&B. &B. Oh, let me show you my shower, which is hilarious. That's how you know you're staying at Granny's house. Um, look. Look, it's got a little display in the shower, in the window. Oh, you can't even see it. Look. Can you see? In fact, let me open it. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Like a proper display in the window. Well, this place is pretty. Dunoon, Scotland. Stunning. Oh, there it is. I was like, everybody's told Thank you. Me. It's all before I got here. I think it's quite pretty. It is very pretty. And there's the ferry, is it? Now on the ferry, waiting to leave the port. Nice views outside. It's quite a nice one. So we're going to just be on here for two hours and a little bit, and then going to be in Belfast. That's kind of cool. This is it. Can't wait to get the other side. I'm actually really tired. We're going to Visa. Whoa, we're gonna have a party. So all of Marty's Pelos fans wait outside for us before we get to Zanjek. I think it's quite hilarious. There's some over there. No, no. <laughs> no, no. There's some over there. <laughs> They're at every shot. <laughs> I suddenly found myself. <laughs> Up and save you, you see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hi guys, so I am about to leave the hotel in Limerick, but last night I went to a traditional Irish pub and I had the best time. This is the baby Guinness, everyone. Not yet. Not yet, it's not. That's Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. That is amazing. It looks delightful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I had uh, Guinness. Don't generally like Guinness, but I thought I'd try one because apparently it's better in obviously in Ireland where it's from. So I had a Guinness and listened to some traditional Irish music. <laughs> And it's dope. Um, so the tour is coming to a close. We've got one more show tonight in Dublin and then that's it. Um, it's been a really good length of tour. So we've been out for just over a week, although we were rehearsing before that and we went straight on tour. So I've had a really, really good time. I must say that being on this tour has allowed me to see more of the UK because we've gone to cities and towns that we wouldn't, well, that I have never been to apart from Perth and Dublin. So I've never been to Danoon, I've never been to Hamilton, never been to Limerick. So it was really nice to see this part of the UK. And um, obviously I live in the UK, but you fall in love with your city or your country again when you get to see places that you've never seen before. So I have to say the UK is very beautiful and, and it's nice to see it 
in the way that I have. I'm ready to go home. I was on the verge of getting sick a few days ago and thank God it didn't turn into a full blown, blown cold. Um, but I'm gonna go back and it doesn't end for me because I'm going straight into another gig. But I have to say this gig mainly, aside from the music and obviously working with Marty, which I love doing, um, is Show Me The UK. I've gotten to experience different different things, things that I've never experienced before, i.e. Irish culture. I've never been to an Irish pub with Irish music and Irish people. So it was really cool. Um, I got to see Belfast, never been to Belfast. So it's not, for me, it's, it's been mainly about doing things that I've never done and seeing places that I've never seen and trying traditional things in the place of origin. I think I'm all about authenticity. So if I can see something in its actual origins or in the place that it was founded, then I'm all for that. I'm all for that. So all in all, it's been a good trip. A few little small things but nothing ever goes p completely perfectly or the way you like it and so you know you learn to adjust and you learn to take everything in your stride and I've done exactly that and I feel like you know things have worked out apparently there's lots in the pipeline for next year so you know we'll see and also I've got like lots of different projects on the go so it'll be a case of me juggling various different projects so I'm literally hitting the ground running when I get back. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are on social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, Google Plus and Snapchat. So if you like to interact on social media, get us there. Also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we post. We post about so many different topics all the time. So we love to interact with you. So see you next week.